Hi, I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. In today's episode, we're going to look at saving our files. Saving can be a confusing activity because sometimes we're not sure where the files are being saved and we have trouble finding them later. We'll also look at the difference between save and save as. To save a document, click on the File menu. Then choose the option Save. You will then be prompted with the Save As dialog box. The difference between Save and Save As is that Save As is going to save a new version with a different identity, such as a new file name or a new file type, whereas Save is just going to save an updated version of a file that has already been created. This bar here is referred to as the file directory and tells us where the file is going to be saved. In this case, it's going to be saved in the documents library. If you'd like to save it elsewhere, you can use the navigation pane on the left hand side. For instance, if you wanted to save the file to the desktop, click on desktop. If you wanted to save it in the documents library, click on documents, and then find a folder in which you'd like to save the file. For instance, if I'd like to save the file in the folder Brent Stuff, I can double click on that folder. You will now notice that the file directory includes the folder Brent Stuff and tells me where this file is going to be saved. If you would like to change the file name, click inside the file name box and rename the file. You can also change the file type by clicking on the drop down box next to save as file type. You can then choose something different. When you're ready to save the file, click Save. Learning how to properly save your files can help save you time in the future. If you're having trouble finding files that you've saved in the past, check out our tutorial on Instant Search, which will help you locate what you're looking for on your computer. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I encourage you to visit our website, instructorgadget.com, for more tutorials as well as additional resources.